Yo, what is up, YouTube? Lee the Captain here, and I believe that the native token of Zilliqa, called Zill, is crazy. And why do I say that? Because I believe that Zill during the next bull run could hypothetically at least go to the price of a dollar and during the process make all of those Zilliqa critics come running over to that thrift shop and start begging for that used vibrator Taylor Swift edition. And now, of course, that's neither vibrator nor financial advice, but in today's video, I want to explain several reasons why I believe Zill could hypothetically at least go to the price of a dollar during the next bull run. And a major contributing factor, which I believe could very well allow for that to happen, is going to boil down to the rock solid, that's what she said, fundamentals of Zillica. When we take a look at Zillica, it happens to be the world's first ever public blockchain to rely entirely on a sharded network. And what this means right here is that the network is split into multiple sections known as shards. And as a result of this, the workload on the network is distributed across these different shards. And through the utilization of sharding technology, Zillica is able to solve its scalability issue. Through sharding, the network has an increase in efficiency and as well as being very fast as well. And in the world of blockchain technology, you want to be fast. But in real life, when it comes to matters in the boom boom in the bedroom, do you really want to be a one pump stunner? Do you really want to be that fast? You know, I don't want to be known as a one second oil rigging machine. I don't want to be one pump stunner. I want to be that one hour long. Oh yeah, but okay, we're getting off track here. Hashtag one hour long. However, it doesn't end there because Zillica on its network is currently able to facilitate over 50 million transactions. God, I, oh, that's crazy. And it even has over 4 million addresses as well. Oh, ha, that's crazy, in my opinion. And personally for me, I think that Zillica is a lot better than Ethereum because every time I make a video on Zillica, some random Ethereum fan, or should I say fanboy, they comment and they say, oh yeah, but you know, Zillica, it's not as good as Ethereum. It's like, what are they on about? First of all, when it comes to the ecosystem, when it comes to the diversity of it, number of fans, number of holders, yes, Ethereum does beat out Zilliqa. But in terms of fundamentals, I disagree because when you take a look at it, Ethereum, it's not scalable as of right now, which is complete nonsense because even Ethereum's very own co-founder, who also happens to be the founder of Cardano, a guy by the name of Charles Hoskinson, but I like to call him Charles the Great. So I'm going to call him Charles the Great. You know, according to the great Charles, he says that, or he at least predicts, that it may take Ethereum up to five more years to become scalable. That is just way too long. That's what she said. That's complete nonsense. Zilliqa doesn't have to wait that long to become scalable. It's already scalable right now. And also, Ethereum gas fees, they're crazy insane. However, you don't see any of that type of nonsense with Zilliqa. The way I view it is that Ethereum, it's like a 12-inch ding-dong or bratwurst. Yeah, sure, it's big, but if it's only going to work when the room is dark and when there's no one watching, what's the point in that? You know, I would much rather prefer a 6-inch Bratwurst that works at Walmart, Costco, Chipotle when you're waiting in line. It's going to work at Best Buy, going to work at Sizzler, Applebee's, Marie Calendars, you name it. I would much rather prefer a 6-inch Bratwurst, in this case Zilliqa, over a 12-inch Bratwurst that I think has some fundamental drawbacks, in this case Ethereum. 6-inch club all the way. Footlong sandwich. It's Subway. It's good. But when it comes to a Broadwurst, we want one that's fundamentally sound, not compromised. Zilliqa is the winner here for me. And now I want to talk about something that really gets me enthusiastic about the future of Zilliqa. Because on its ecosystem, we will find many amazing projects that are related to the metaverse and blockchain gaming. And I think all of this is amazing because according to McKinsey, a very reputable company, they predict that by 2030, the metaverse could reach $5 trillion in value. That's a crazy amount, bigger than a lot of countries' GDP. In addition, when we take a look at blockchain gaming, according to Grandview Research, its market size is anticipated to be worth over $300 billion by 2030. Over 300, that's crazy. Again, that's bigger than a lot of countries' GDP as well. And by the way, just on a side note, when it comes to the movie 300, you know it's an all right movie, didn't think it was as good as what a lot of people say. But yeah, besides that point, I now want to address the people that say that there's too many layer one blockchains out there. And for the people who say this, they seem to think that because there's a lot of blockchains out there, 
there's no room for Zillica. They say, oh, you know, there's like so many blockchains out there. Oh, how is Zillica going to succeed? And here's the thing. The blockchain technology market by 2030, it's expected to be worth over $1.4 trillion, which is a very crazy amount. And when I think when a market is anticipated to be that massive, that's what she said in the future, I think there's going to be room for everyone to eat. And what do I mean by this? Because, for example, we take a look at the world of cars, right? There's so many car brands out there. You take a look at Volvo, Volkswagen, Mercedes-Benz, BMW. You take a look at Tesla, Rivian. Why are all of these car brands able to prosper? You know, why are a lot of these car brands able to hire thousands, if not in some cases, tens of thousands of employees and even more? Why are they able to do that? Why are they able to prosper? Why are they able to be profitable? And the reason for that is because the car market, it's insanely massive. You know, there is room for everyone to eat. A car brand, it doesn't need 90% market share to be successful. That's not the case. You know, that'd be great, but even just a couple percent would do absolute wonders. And I think that's very similar to in the world of blockchain technology because there's so many blockchains out there, right? That can be denied. There's Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, Arbitrum, you name it. There's so many out there. But I think that these blockchains, they don't have to fail in order for Zillica to succeed. That's not the case whatsoever. Zillica can succeed, but these other blockchains can as well. That's great for them. They can prosper. That's awesome. But Zillica, it still has room to prosper because again, the global blockchain technology market it's predicted to be so massive, so there's going to be room for everyone to eat. You know, having just a couple percent market share would do absolute wonders, at least that's the way I view it. And now, I want to talk about a major contributing factor in which, in my opinion, could very well allow Zill to hypothetically attain the price of a dollar during the next bull run. And that is the fact that I do think that the next bull run could be so legendary. And why do I say this? Because as of right now, there's more people than ever before in history owning cryptos. So I think that the next bull run could really look so magical. I mean, it could really dwarf the bull run that we saw back in 2021, in my opinion, because when there's over 420 million people owning cryptos, like what we have right now, I think that during the next bull run, the FOMO, buying pressure, buying volume, and as well as the altcoin season could be through the roof. Just think about this, right? The 2021 bull run was that crazy and legendary despite having only around 300 million people owning cryptos at that time. That's over 100 million less crypto owners than today. And again, right, the bull run that year was that legendary. We saw even mean coins like Dogecoin reach a market cap of over $80 billion. You know, that was how crazy that bull run was. So if that bull run was that crazy, you know, just imagine what the next bull run will look like, especially now that we insert over 100 million new crypto owners. I mean, man, all the things that we saw back in 2021 during that bull run, I think could very well be amplified in such an amazing way during the next bull run. I think the next bull run could look so legendary. And when I take that into consideration, and when I consider the A-plus fundamentals of Zillica, I don't see why Zill during the next bull run won't hypothetically at least go to the price of a dollar. And that's why I'm constantly dollar cost averaging into Zill. Anytime I earn any sort of income, I set aside some for Zill, and through dollar cost averaging, I'm just putting a set amount on a set schedule on a consistent basis over an extended period of time. You know, it doesn't matter the day that I do earn income, if the price of Zill is pumping or dumping, that doesn't matter because I'm not focused on what happens to the price of Zill in the next two hours, next week, in the next month. I could care less about that. I'm focused on the next bull run. You know, a day trader, a swing trader, a person who uses leverage, they might care about short to medium term price movements, but I don't care about that. I'm taking more of a long-term approach. I'm not going to bother with day trading or using leverage because in my opinion, that's complete nonsense. A lot of friends that I know that do that, they get wrecked. They end up becoming guacamole on that Chipotle bowl. And I don't want that. You know, that's why I dollar cost average. I'm keeping it simple. And by dollar cost averaging, I think that I'm preparing myself for the next bull run in such a fantastic way. I'm just going to continue to slowly but surely accumulate more and more. You know, I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if Zill during the next bull run did hypothetically at least go to the price of a dollar and during the process make all of those Zillica critics come running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma and start begging for that used Bratwurst extender Taylor Swift and Selena Gomez edition. And of course, the color is probably purple or pink. I guess we'll never know, right? Maybe even dash a little bit of magenta in there. But yeah, besides that point, I think Zill is a sleeping giant. That's what she said. And if you want to check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. 
It's a very fantastic video, and I think you all would really love it. It's been Lee the Captain, and I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.